Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Friday's warm-up at four o'clock UK time. Um, today we are going to be looking at the second study of Moise's 24 little melodic studies. Um, and this one is in A minor, so it's quite a, a different character to the first one. And something that I like to do um, is just try to find the type of sound that I want to play this particular study with. So in C major, in the first one, it's obviously more happy and optimistic. With A minor, we've got something a little sadder. And I find just playing, trying to match the, the quality of a, a C harmonic on, on all the notes um, tends to give me the type of sound that I want, this very sort of floaty sound. Um, so we're going to do a little tone exercise first, um, which is in the handout. So if you haven't got the handouts, um, do download those and you can follow along. Otherwise, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, if you are watching live, just say hello as well, because it's always nice to, to know there's somebody there. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Um, but that's OK, because people watch back anyway. Um, so we'll start with the first exercise. Um, so if you play a low C and go to the next harmonic. <laughs> You're going to go on that one and you're going to do a C major scale coming back to the harmonic each time, all the way down to the low C. So I'll just show you the first couple of bits. See if you can match the, the, the depth and the warmth of sound that you get with the C. So as you get lower, try not to make the sound too harsh or at the other extreme, not too woolly and open. So not too edgy on the bottom. Okay, so just try and get that the same sound all the way down. So let's try that. So we'll do the, the octave first. And try and feel when you're doing the harmonic for me at least my mouth inside of the mouth is really nice and open the tongue's not getting in the way and I'm not tightening muscles in the throat when you switch fingers don't let that affect um, anything keep that open quality if you can so that's that's the aim of the game really is just to keep that this equal um, let's do the same thing on low C sharp. So we're going to do a C, C sharp major or D flat major scale, coming back to the, the harmonic D flat. <laughs> I try to think of maybe a vowel of boo or something just to keep that nice and uh, open quality. Uh, nothing too too pushed. Um, same thing on D. Now it's going to be a D major scale coming back to the D harmonic. <laughs> Okay, 
obviously I'm doing that slurred because I like to practice this as a legato exercise, but you could actually do it um, tongued as well or at least separate. So you could try it as a sort of ha. There's another way you could try it as well. Uh, but let's stick with legato for now. Let's now go on to E flat, and then we'll do the same thing, but going up. Okay, so E flat, E flat major. It's also a good um, intonation exercise as well. So it's almost like having a pedal note, but it's it's higher rather than lower. Sometimes you would, with a tuning machine, you'd have a lower pedal and you'd play intervals above, but it's equally good to practice it from a, a higher note. And how do your lower notes fit in with the pitch of that one? Okay, now we're gonna do going upwards same same idea so it's a, a major scale coming back to the pedal note of the harmonic um but one note higher each time so we do the octave c again <laughs> seem like we're in the Moyes number two territory yet but actually it's it's something really nice to sort of get your air use it really well and find the type of sound that you want to use before you launch into a study so we're we are at the now at Moyes number two so the first thing I like to do is find the the skeleton and we're going to practice just bell tones on the first note of each bar um, so if you look at your moise number two it's, it has an a at the beginning so we're going to hold that for three beats with a diminuendo so dum, 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 and then g as well okay so try and get to about those four bars in one breath um, but if you need to breathe before that, that's absolutely fine too. So let's do bell tones on the first note of each bar in noise two. One, two. So with the, the lips, we're thinking, oh, oh, 
And as you finish the note, just remember that it's it's going to fall flat unless we do something. So, oh, and then make sure this lower lip is going, guiding over the top lip. If you simply open your lips, it's going to get a whistly ending. You're going to get a whistle tone at the end. Um, so make sure that the air is continuing to go up as you diminuendo and make sure that the air speed is not too slow at the end. Let's keep that air nice and at the same pace. Okay, so let's do that one more time, just that first line of that study. One, two. Um, another little pointer just to remember movement is, is here and try not to bobbin up and down with the head um, just try to keep your head relatively still not sort of held don't have to sort of use muscle to keep your head there it's just a case of not doing um, head movements um, okay, now we add one note to this skeleton. So we're going to do next line down in the handout. Now it's exactly the same thing that you're doing with the bell tones, but now we're adding just a little bit of finger movement. So you're still moving forward, still getting softer at the end but the finger moves nice and gradually and without any accent in the fingers. To practice that, let's do chromatic up and down. Um, so it's, it's like the Moyes sonority. So going up chromatically. Let's do that. So it's oh, oh. Ready, one, two. will do. You can go up even further if you like. Um, so that gets us in the in the right sort of frame for the, the notes of the study. The next thing to practice would be one and two of the, the study. So where we've got so that's the first two notes of each bar. And why is it important to practice this? It's because Moyes, I think, wrote this in a very clever way because he was showing how the notes of the second beat were getting gradually higher and higher. But we need to make sure that it's still in 3-4. So the first beat is more important than the second. So we have to take care of the top note so that it doesn't stick out and affect the meter. But we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so this is a good exercise to practice, um, making sure that the higher notes are not necessarily louder. So we're doing these diminuendos. So let's do one, two with the chromatics now. One.
let's do those again, actually, just because it's it's. I'm going through this quite quickly, um, and if anybody is, um, you know, going, what what are you talking about? Just um, put a question in the chat, and I'm happy to explain something. Um, but if everybody's sort of following along nicely, then that's also good. Um, but don't be shy. Just just write anything. Um, Okay, so let's do those two again, and then we'll add the third note. Um, so we're going to start with the first and third with chromatics. Now, just be careful as you go down to that lowest note, like we did at the beginning. Just try to keep that color of sound and not, not nothing too intense. Don't blow down for the softer, lower note. Okay. Um, now let's change the rhythm again. So one and two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Sorry, B flat. So I just turned that way. Um, I wasn't just wandering with my eyes, but um, just so you could see what I was doing there, if if anything, um, it's very subtle. But um, there's this ah oh, ah oh, movement, and I think um, hopefully you could see that. Um, good. All right, now let's put three notes in. So this is going to be as it's similar to the actual study. So that's the rhythm, one, two, three. So let's do that with the chromatics. Um, but, so we're gonna go A, B flat, A, and then A, B natural, A. So just keep coming back to A, so it's going to sound. Okay, so just make sure that the last A is the softest note, uh, and the second note is softer than the first. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, okay? And yeah, let's go, one, two, Good. 
Oh, and then coming down below A. Good, okay, so that should be warming up everything, uh, including how you're blowing as well. So it's always sending nice fresh air out on the forte and just following with your, with your lower lip to reduce uh, the volume and keep the pitch up. Um, I was doing some, something similar with a student yesterday and um, I thought a nice, nice image is to, if you're thinking of your air right in front of you on the wall, you've got this like sort of paintbrush, and so you you paint at the base of the wall, and then you just paint all that air or all that paint up up the wall. So it's not dot dot, but really brush and stroke the the air up. So you have always got connection of sound, and it's not. Um, uh, I can't think of a word. <laughs> um, separate. It's it's all very nice and smooth and legato. Okay, uh, so let's now extend this exercise into harmonics. So this is next step. Um, so we're going to do the minim crotchet rhythm, D -um, D -um, but we're doing it in harmonics now. So this is the last part of the handout. So you're going to do Okay, so that's louder to softer in case it's not coming across. Um, always diminuendo in the 3-4 bar. Okay, let's try that together. So one, Two, three. Now on A flat, one, two. G, one, two. And F sharp, one, two. Good. Next rhythm, uh, crotchet to minim. Same thing, so da, da, ready on A, one, two. One F sharp, one, two. Okay, good. Now three notes. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. So coming back to the first note. And then from the top one, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, so I'll just, I'll show you the first one and we can do it together. Okay, so 
we've always got that sense of one, two, three. Let's try that then on A, one, two, three. So that's quite the workout, I think. Um, so gradually getting a little bit harder as you go. So watch this back or just download the handouts and um, take that in your own time. It's it's something that I've just done in half an hour, but um, I would I'd take a bit longer if I were you. Um, and good, let's just play through number two, having done all that, and see if anything has changed in your, in how you feel as you go along, um, observations, and let me know uh, if, if anything like that has helped you, uh, any, anything that you've struggled with, or etc. So let's try not noise number two. So you can you can practice it in that very sort of technical working on the meter and embouchure and all that stuff, and then add that into your musical interpretation of that study as well. So you might not want to play it in such um, metronomic tempo or that slow. You might want to adjust that a little bit, um, but that just gives you some sort of framework for practicing this one. Uh, and I hope that helps. Um, yeah, does anybody have any questions or comments? I'll be back next Friday for number three. So I'll, I'll write some warm ups based around uh, that one, which is in F major. And yeah, if no one has any questions, then have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy the sun and see you next week. <laughs>